seems to be a stage for when the band has really grown up in public. When we look back and look at events, the years, a lot of it take place in Belgium. Obviously, the main thing being being the festival scene here, but also the, the um, we did a documentary here a few years ago as well on a TV show and, and uh, we've always, always listened to as well to the people in Belgium. I remember uh, playing in the Forest National and um, opening for, uh, for Peter Gabriel on a tour that played 13 five nights through Europe and we got one encore in the whole tour. Guess what it was here? For the people who didn't get, get tickets, it's, it's always, I mean, I had a few letters last week, we can haul on people saying, I'm a fan for five years and now I can't get a ticket because the, uh, the Don't You fans got the tickets first and, and stuff like that. This is a problem. Um, when a band grows up, there's growing pains. You, you, don't, you can't keep everything in control. But I think, I don't feel too bad. In Belgium, we've always managed to hold back. Like last tour, we played um, in Ancien Belgique as opposed to a big one. We've, we've always come, we've always played in Belgium. We've always, always had a presence here. And um, I just tell the people who couldn't get, get tickets to really keep in touch, keep their ear to the ground, and they should see us in Europe again in the, in the early summer. I think America is a new country to simple minds. I don't see it as a big, big goal. It's a question of there's a lot of people there that through the years we haven't been able to play to in the same way that we've played to all the people in Europe who've spent almost six years non-stop in Europe. And it's just time to go and spend more and more time there. It's our, it's our duty as songwriters to try and get the songs across to as many people as possible. Last night when I arrived at the, the airport in Brussels, um, I didn't exactly feel alive, alive and kicking, but uh, after today, a good night's sleep and uh, a rest and everything. I do actually, I, f I feel good. I was, I was saying to a friend on the way up here, um, we've always enjoyed playing and touring, but I, I can't quite, uh, quite recall um, enjoying myself so much on, on stage as I am at this, uh, this moment in time. And I don't think tonight will be any different. But it's not the big league. Nothing has changed with us. You know, we, we came, we checked into the hotel last night, went for something to eat, walked around the city today. No one, it wasn't as if everyone ran up and said, eh, hey, it's Elvis Presley. He, you know, it's, it's not, it, it is the big league, but it's not, I think, I think the music is the big league. The band themselves, um, I think we've, we've managed to maintain um, our feet on the ground, I think that's important so that we don't make, make the mistakes of a lot of the bands in the 70s. The big challenge was to, uh, w was to get um, more, um, more focused on songs and more, more complete. When I, when I listened to Sparkle in the Rain, I had good ideas, but some of the songs I think were under, underprepared. Like when we play them live tonight, there are some songs like Book of Brilliant Things, Easter Easter, and even, even Waterfront that I think have much uh, superior arrangements. And that's kind of unfortunate because it's too late now. But, um, <clears throat> so we wanted in advance with this album to have work harder on the songs, discipline ourselves. And, uh, well, you were there. You, you, you saw, uh, we took some months, we went, went into the country and uh, we didn't go with the first ideas. We waited until the melodies were very sharp. We waited until I had a, I had a focus lyrically. Every song had to be about something. Mm -hmm. 